today let's talk about how we could uh, do some non-destructive creation of fishnet stockings. So the general idea here is going to be, let's say you create a cylinder. About like that. And on this cylinder, we create, say, I don't know, 15 loop coats, not like that. Now what you can do is add a bevel modifier on here. And the bevel modifier, what we're going to do is we're going to take, instead of uh, doing it on vertices, or excuse me, on edges, we're going to do it on vertices. And so if you look, it's actually somewhat difficult to see what's going on here. So what we're going to do is add a wireframe modifier also. That'll make it much easier to see what's happening here. So here are the bevels. Let's only look at this uh, cylinder here. And let's take the wireframe and make those wires a bit smaller. I'll make them point out to each top two millimeters. Very small there. Now when we're playing with the bevel modifier, we can more easily see what's going on. So let's set instead of the width type of offset, set it to percent. Right now it's 0.1%, and as we slide up that percentage, then the amount of bevel gets uh, bigger and smaller here. So let's put this at about 30%. Now what you can see is you have diamonds here between uh, actual uh, vertexes that are connecting those. So one thing you can do is you can edit this and add some more loop cuts, suppose, suppose uh, not everywhere, but to say every other set here. If you do that, you'll get kind of an interesting pattern like that. So compare up here to down here. Let's, let's actually do that all the way down. We'll put one every other uh, segment there. There we go. So that adds a little bit of interest to there. Now, if you want actual normal like fishnets, then you'll, I think, want the width percent to be about 50. 50% uh, everything is perfectly uh, diagonal from before. We can compare 0%, that's the way it looks normally, and then 50% is like that. And you can actually go over 50%, over but you can't actually see anything if you do. It doesn't uh, have any effect. So if you make it less than 50%, then you get a little bit of a interesting uh, pattern in there. If you make it 50%, you get your exact fishnets. Let's actually make it a little bit on the interesting side. We'll make it I can say about 30%, actually 35%, why not? So now you've got your fishnets uh, more or less correct. So then the other thing you'll do is you'll take this geometry, place it inside of your character, and do a shrink wrap modifier, and then start tweaking the vertices to get them exactly right. And then in the end, you'll apply your shrink wrap modifier so that it's in the shape of her leg. And so I've already done that here. Let's do this here. So I've already done this here, uh, though I suppose another way of doing this is you've, you've got uh, geometry on the leg itself. You can just highlight the geometry of the leg, duplicate it, scale it up a little bit, separate it away from the mesh, and then you'll have something that's already in the shape of the leg. So if you've created your cylinder from scratch, you've got to put it inside, shrink wrap it, uh, start playing with the vertexes to get it to the same shape. But if your leg is already more or less a cylinder, you don't have a lot of special geometry around the, the knee and the thigh and etc. If it's all rather a cylinder already, then you can just duplicate that and scale it up a little bit. And that way it will already be in the shape of the leg. So either way, you end up with a cylinder in the shape of the leg, which is what we're looking for. All right, let's get rid of this thing here. Now, one thing you probably have is a subdivision modifier on if you had created something before. Uh, in this case, we're not going to want a subdivision modifier anymore. So let's duplicate this. I'm going to make, instead of leggings, I'm going to have a fishnet. The fishnets I'm going to put in their own layer, in their own, uh, is it called a layer? I'm not actually sure what that's called, a folder inside of the outliner. Uh, so let's see here, we've got her, we've got her clothing. If not her bottoms, or I don't know what it's going to be called, fishnets. And that way, when we turn off our leggings, we can turn on our fishnets. 
these are going to be a different thing than before. So I can get rid of my soul division modifier. All right, and so one thing you might notice here is I've got our mirror modifier first. So there's actually only one uh, cylinder here, and then I mirrored it across to the other side, and then surface form, surface the form to the result. So already we've only got one thing. We've already generated a mirrored version of it. All right, so let's do the same thing. Uh, now this one, uh, this I guess suppose is another way of thinking about this uh, the problem of fishnets. So we added a bevel modifier before. This one I've applied that mo bevel modifier. So you've got uh, the vertexes on here are diagonal and not straight, and then I've painted them and done a number of other things. But here, I do not have a bevel modifier. It's already ready to go. So if you still only just have a regular cylinder, you haven't uh, done other things, you'll want to have your bevel modifier to set it to something. So in this case, all I've got to do is add the wireframe modifier. And let's set the thickness to 0.801. So again, it's about a millimeter. Uh, offset will deal in a second. So let's see what that looks like. So as you can see, it's already like uh, fishnets. And because this started out as actual geometry as a cylinder, there's no seams anywhere on this, and you don't have to do any UV on the wrapping or anything. It's just ready to go. Let's take a look at how this looks rendered. So as you can see, if you get the shape correct and it's uh, just outside of the skin, then it actually looks pretty good. And because it's actual geometry, the fishnets will interact with the lighting of the scene, they'll cast shadows, they'll uh, uh, have shadows behind them, etc. So it uh, looks rather looks rather nice. Here the light that I've got shining on it uh, looks like the bias is a little bit uh, incorrect and so the shadows don't look great here. But if you uh, use cycles or if you create a better uh, light setup, you'll see some really nice shadows being cast by, this, uh, by these fishnets. So the other thing that you probably want to do, and I don't know how to do this yet, is uh, have the fishnets cut into the into the skin so the skin comes out between the fishnets. I've seen others doing things like that with geometry nodes. Uh, because this is real geometry, you should be able to do, uh, you should be able to tweak geometry nodes and have them actually push into the skin. Uh, I won't show you how to do that because, like I say, I don't actually know how. And of course, you can make these fishnets thicker and thinner by changing the amount of the wireframe. So let's say if we made that point three, that would be three millimeters. Now they're quite thick fishnets, perhaps more like knitted stockings or something like that. And I can make the thickness back to one millimeter. Uh, about one millimeter is about the smallest you want it on a, a real sized character. If you start making it smaller than that, it's somewhat invisible. For example, like that. Well, I suppose it's not bad there. That is one fifth of a millimeter there. Pretty small. To the point where it's almost invisible as you pull back here. You can barely tell she's got any fishnets in here. Pull back a bit. So perhaps we make it a millimeter so that we can actually see. As you can also tell, the wireframe modifier is still getting the vertex colors from the underlying geometry. So it's still colored in different ways. So you can get nice effects with that. This works for just about any clothing. You just add that wireframe modifier and you get a fishnet version of it instead of the thing. For example, I can do that here. But because she hasn't got anything on underneath that, I can't do it. I'll get age restricted. All right, that's about all I can think to say. Happy sculpting.